Let's start off with the big news today. The return of J.J. Watt. You know, it's interesting when he went down, there was a lot of thought that he could be down for the season and the playoffs. But now, uh, you know, but the news was that he was going to try and work and rehab and, and, and get back. And now there's a possibility that you might have him for the playoffs. Talk about his journey and how hard he worked to get back. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's a great question because, you know, when we signed J.J. Watt, I got to know him a little bit through the uh, signing process, but um, the next, say, seven, eight months was a different story. I mean, it, it kind of goes back to what he brought to the table from a leadership standpoint in the locker room, uh, sort of how his energy permeated through the building. And then to have that kind of injury set back, um, really disappointed for all of us. But not once did, did J.J. show signs of feeling sorry for himself. And in fact, um, now I look at how fast he's healed, how hard he has worked. And, you know, the time I've been doing this, it's like you look at your roster and there's 52 players and there's J.J. Watt. He is different, and he is different in every way. I'm telling you, like, he, he does things that I've never seen a player do before and, um, again, have a lot of respect and admiration for him. Okay, but l- let's talk about the possibilities. What What is realistic? Could he be back not this Sunday, but next Sunday for week one of the playoffs. Could, is that a possibility? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't rule it out. And I would not bet against J.J. Watt. Again, so what I've seen from him internally in the building, his work ethic, uh, the things he has done out on the field, making sure that he stayed in shape, his nutrition, his preparation, second to none. There's nobody that works like J.J. Watt. I've been around a lot of good players. He is a, a special guy in every aspect. And, um, certainly think that he's got an opportunity here moving forward.